In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this commercial core shot. Before I show you guys how to create the freezing effect, I'm gonna run you guys through a little bit of the setup that we're working with today. I've chosen to do cores because I think that's probably a great product, not probably, it is a great product to use for this freezing effect. But I wanna talk a little bit about the setup and you don't have to do this. You can use the freezing effect in any kind of way that you want. You don't have to have set design, but if you really wanna take your product shots to the next level, then you're gonna to wanna to implement some kind of set design. But this freezing effect that I'll show you in a little bit, you can do it anywhere. It doesn't have to be set up. You don't have to have fancy lights. You don't have to do anything, but I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit more and a few little nuggets of knowledge of what I like to do for something like this. So the first thing I did was take two tables and split them apart, allowing a gap right here. Then I took my Savage Transloom background paper and it gives this a nice frosty look and I laid it across the top and pulled it tight so that it can hold. And then this is where you're gonna be placing your product is right here in the center between the two uh, tables. And the reason why I'm doing this is because not only does this give like a nice background look, it gives a very good diffusion light because I stuck two NAN light tube lights right here. You can turn them on like this, as you can see, and it's going to light the background, giving this kind of glow effect as if the ice is going to be brightening up. I mean, it's a nice background look. Next, what I have is I have my aperture 300D and I have it in a rectangular softbox. I have it faced in the same way that if this product was standing up, that that's how I'd be lighting it. I have as low as I can at the table and we're getting a nice key light right here. Then I have another aperture 300D and I have it with two diffusions. I have it by the four x four scrim and the other one. And what I'm doing is this is a little bit more dim than this one, which is giving us a kind of key cove light where we're going brighter then darker and then darkest on our fill side. And our fill side is just a bounced or a bounce or beam board. Sorry, our fill side is just a beam board that I bought from Home Depot and you can rip off the thing and you get this nice white bounce right here. Then what I'm doing is I'm loading my two backlights or the Pavo tubes down there on this side, which is giving a nice more of a rim light on this side. So we have our brighter we have our brighter key on this side and we have our rim brighter on this side, which gives us really good depth and makes our product more 3D, especially for something when you're gonna be laying it flat on the ground. Now we're gonna start bringing in the different stuff to really add this all together. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do, <laughs> then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the really cool frozen effect. Lastly, I just have my camera on a C stand right here. As you can see, I just use a knuckle and then the C-stand adapter to screw into my camera. I like using that because I can adjust it. This creates a little bit of shakiness. There's a way to connect two um, C-stands together, but unfortunately, because of my diffusion over there, there's not just enough room to work. So I apologize that this looks a little cramped, but I really want to get a cool top-down shot. And we're just going to probably in post use a digital push that I'll show you guys. Next, what we're gonna do is we're grabbing some gloves and we're gonna do a little bit of set design. And the way that I wanna really sell this effect, and again, you don't need to have all this stuff, but something that I wanna add to it just to make it pop a little bit more is I bought in a few bags of dry ice and we're gonna place the dry ice around this so that it looks like different shelves of snow and give a very cold look to it. Before I do the freezing effect, I'm just gonna use this aerosol uh, hazer spray. You can use a hazer, you can use anything. Again, I'll put the link to everything I'm using in the description below. So we're gonna use this just to get a little bit more haze and it's just gonna act more like you're in a snow environment. Our bottle's all set up. It's gonna be super easy to do to create this effect of it freezing. All you have to do is take some of your computer duster spray, what you use to clean out your keyboards, flip it, flip it upside down and just spray close onto the bottle. Uh, I recommend shooting in slow motion just so you can get the growing effect. If not, you can shoot the other way and let it um, burn off or dry off. So this is, I'm shooting at 120 frames right now and then I'm just gonna spray it like this. Do not point this at yourself, do not inhale it. It's poisonous, so don't do that. But what I'm gonna do is just come across here, do a good, nice streak. 
and then we're good to go. Now that I've gotten all my shots, I'm gonna dive into the editing process. And to really put a cherry on the top of these shots, I'm gonna to go to motionarray.com and I'm gonna download their snow effects templates. Motion Array is one of my favorite sites to get a bunch of different templates from title templates to logo designs, to graphic designs, to pretty much anything that you're gonna to wanna to do to create or add any flair to your videos. And you guys know me, I barely ever sponsor products. Motion Array is one of my favorite things and I've been using it long before I was ever one of their sponsors. So go check it out. You can check out all their cool templates and also get awesome pricing and my bio link below. Check out Motion Array. I hope that you guys enjoyed this cool technique that I came up with. It's a lot of fun, it's super simple. Again, you don't have to be as complex as I did with this. I just wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz, but you can make that melting or freezing technique happen anywhere with pretty much anything, as you could see that I did it on glass, aluminum, and that all worked. It's a lot of fun. If you guys wanna learn more details and really how to up-level your product videos, then check out my product video course so you can be making money from home like me, creating content just like this. And I dive into so much more. The link to my product video course is in the bio below, so go check it out. Please comment, share, and like. Please comment, share. <laughs> Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time. Now that I've gotten all my